Hello, Kristen here from Sylvia's team. Thanks for having me. Great to be back with you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your Google Shopping Ads campaign step by step, click by click, actually inside the Google Ads tools. My name is Sylvia Myers, and over the past six years, I've empowered thousands of online stores in over 35 countries around the world with knowledge designed to quadruple return on ad spend. So let's get right into it. The first thing I just wanted to say, if the screen that I'm looking at that I'm going to show you is a bit different to what you see, there's this button when you log into your Google Ads Manager that's going to be up the top that you might see this button under Tools and Settings or near the Tools and Settings icon called Switch View. So sometimes when you first log into a Google Ads account, uh, what you'll notice is that there's not many options there. They tried to make it really simple, but some of the things that we're going to be doing need some of the other options to be available that we can see. And so that's just a view. You can press the switch view button to show you the more, um, I don't want to call it complicated, but the more advanced view where you can actually set all the settings. So that's the first thing. Sometimes people get confused. Oh, I'm not seeing what you're seeing. Just look out for that switch view button and you can change the view. So what we're going to do, or go into the tool, is actually set up a Google Shopping campaign. We're going to make a new campaign. It's going to be a sales campaign because we want to drive sales. It's going to be a shopping campaign because we're doing Google Shopping. We have going to choose the Merchant Center account, which we've linked, and we've got the details how to do that in the technical step-by-step -step setup video, if you haven't already done that. And we're going to make sure that it's a standard shopping campaign. Remember, we don't want it to be a smart shopping campaign because in this one, we have no control over what happens. So in the standard shopping campaign, we can adjust all the settings and optimize it for the best results. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go and do that now. We'll go over to our Google Ads window. Here we have here, this is Shopify App Store. Let's go into the Google Ads um, ads, Google Ads account. Right, so here, hopefully you can see everything on my screen there. Yes, great, this is a test account that I've got. And I'm gonna go into all campaigns here and press the nice big button, new campaign. So I'm gonna call this as it's loading up here, just make sure I can type this in. So here's all the options for campaigns. Remember we said we want it to be a sales campaign because we wanna drive sales, right? So we click on that one. And then here's all the different options, but we're doing here Google Shopping Campaign. That's what we're focused on. And that's going to ask us to make sure we've got it linked to a Merchant Center account. Now, if you haven't already linked it, if you haven't followed that step in the technical setup um, process, then you'll need to go back and do that because if this is not there, it's not going to let you move forward. So you need to make sure that that's set up. If it's, It'll tell you if it's not set up, otherwise it'll be there. And then this is the country where the products are sold. So you might be a business that sells products all over the world. This is the location where your product, where your store is actually physically located. Like where are you? What country are you in? What's the HQ or headquarters of your business? That's where you want to, that's the country you want to be putting in there. And here's a big trap. Sometimes we just press continue, but we don't want to do that, right? Because we don't want the smart campaign. We want a standard campaign for the reasons we just mentioned. So we move forward here, continue. Wait for this to load. We give it a campaign name. So I'm going to call it Summer um, Campaign Hats. Um, okay. And then down here for the bid strategy, we just click on this one and we're going to set this to maximize clicks to make this nice and simple to get started. These other ones are different options that what we can do when we're getting down the line in terms of more advanced strategies. But for now, we just want to maximize clicks. And then um, we can set a click budget, but in fact, I'm not gonna tick that here in this case, and just set what is my budget overall for this campaign, for this summer hats campaign. Uh, I'm gonna call it here my test summer hats campaign, so I know that this one is for testing because I'm just demonstrating it. And uh, the, how much I wanna spend per day, I'm gonna put here $10 a day. But for my test here, I'm just gonna put $1 a day because it's a, it's a test. I can't hear, but you'll put here $5, $10, $20, whatever is appropriate for your budget. The campaign priority, you can just leave on low. Uh, it's like, well, why is it low? I want it to be high. This is only important in more advanced strategies when you're running lots of campaigns all together with different budgets and it's to do some more sophisticated things. But when we're getting started for the domino, we just leave it on the default setting. That's going to be fine. And then uh, normally what I do here is I normally untick these because I don't want the ads to appear on other places that I don't really have much control over, uh, not in the beginning anyway, because I want to get um, better insights on where people are seeing my ad and what they're clicking on. So this is this would be putting your ad in other more random places. So I'll turn those off. And uh, what locations do you want to display your ad? So 
uh, this is where you can specify I want to do specific locations uh, for example I want to do US I want to do I might do this one US and Canada because that's a big market for these hats uh, of course you need to update this based on where your store is located uh, and then we want this to run from now uh, from the day that I'm recording this video until no end date because we want this to continue going on and on so save and continue we move forward and then there's two options here but we're going with product shopping because it's the domino to get us started to get us moving forward creating single product ads so product shopping and we give the ad group a name this is going to be my hats ad group uh, remember we don't want to have all of our products in one ad group we want to have a different ad group that's going to have a collection of products in there so this one is going to be my hats ad group I'm going to put it here test ad group just for me but you'll just put the name of what your ad group is focusing on which products uh, do you have that you want to actually be promoting in this ad group that are all related to each other like a collection or a group so we'll move forward and now you'll notice the default thing in this product group you can see up here kind of the navigation of where I am so I'm in all campaigns I'm in my summer campaign hats and I've got a hats ad group but you'll notice right now in my hats ad group that I've got all products and that's not what I want right remember we so said we don't want all products in there but that's the default setting so what we need to do when we hover over here do you see when I hover there's this little plus and just uh, so when I hover over it, I get the plus that says uh, subdivision I want to divide this into different groups so I'm going to press this plus and it's going to ask me okay great so how do you want to divide all of your products up and this will be a little bit different for every store depending on how what app you're using what uh, what technology you're using if it's Shopify WooCommerce Big Cartel whichever platform you're using but you'll just browse through here and find the one that's going to work the best for you you can divide it by category for example so here I've got all products that are in apparel or um, you can divide it by brand for example so I've got all the products that are from a particular brand or you can divide it by um, product type um, so you'll have you'll see different options remember this is a test source so I don't have everything uh, set up as I would in a normal store that, that you have in your store um, so you want to have a look at that but normally category is a good one so you see in this store I've got everything in the category of apparel and accessories uh, what would be better would be if I had it broken down further so if I had hats if I had um, active wear if I had t-shirts if I had those different categories but in this case for this test store I've just got apparel and accessories so I'm going to use that one because I don't think in this test store I have a, a better one to show you uh, but that's okay you understand what I'm saying here that we just want to find the right thing for dividing it so I'll go with apparel and uh, I'm going to press save without editing bids uh, I don't want to edit the bids because editing the bids is a more complicated step where I can go in and edit prices for specific keywords and specific well, I'll just click on it and show you uh, you can specify here how much I want to pay uh, how much I want to bid rather for, for this product group but I'm just gonna leave it on automatic and press save okay and so now in this product group I've got all of my apparel and accessories as well as everything else and all I'm gonna do here is turn off everything else so now in this product uh, group uh, called my hats ad group test group I've got here apparel and accessories and ideally I just want this to be hats but you'll do that in your store depending on what your um, depending on how you've got everything set up and categorized in your store as I mentioned it will be a little bit different for each individual store so that's it so now we've got our campaign set up uh, let's navigate back here sometimes you can get confused where am I so we just go up here all campaigns all campaigns and then we're going to go into the campaign that we've got running so uh, this one here that it will just create and when we go in there it shows us what uh, ad groups we could have multiple ad groups in here but what we recommend when you're getting started is just to have one campaign and one ad group so if I wanted to do another one now for t-shirts I would go back to the top level so I'd press all campaigns up here and I would create a new campaign I'd call it summer campaign for t-shirts and then I can create a product ad group for t-shirts so that's going to make it nice and simple for you to keep on top of and to keep managing it so what's going to happen now now that this campaign's up and running and there's a budget of ten dollars a day uh, Google are doing their magic in their background and they're going to match those products to, to searches that people do so when someone searches for a red hat uh, my products going to start appearing and how I'll find out where it's appearing what people are searching for is under the keywords here so this is not something that you check uh, every five minutes It's going to be something that you check more like once every couple of days 
the um, as you'll see down here it says reporting is not carried out in real time so there's no need to come and check this a hundred times a day you more want to check this you know at most once a day maybe a few times a week maybe three three or four times a week at most it's not something that we check every five minutes uh, like we check our social media or like we check our email uh, because it's not reported in real time because this is going out to millions of people around the world so it takes time for that all to come together but where we'll see how it's working and not working is by obviously the results here you'll be seeing how many clicks impressions click through rate how much have you spent how many conversions that's great but you want to drill that down a bit and go into the actual keywords and see what are the search terms here so if i press this obviously there's none here right now because i just created this campaign but this is where you'll see uh, the words that people have used when they found your ad and if there's words there that are not appropriate uh, that are not related to the products that you're selling remember we talked about like how to make a red handbag cake when I'm selling handbags, we'd want to exclude those, exclude those terms that don't make sense and create negative keywords. And so when they pop up here, we can just click them and add them to the negative list. And you'll see the negative list here on your um, on the negative keywords section. And the last thing to look at here is that when you've got your um, campaign running here, you'll see which products are actually um, appearing as well. So let's, let me just, let's go back there. So we're in the campaign and we go into products and you'll see here the list for you when you click on that. These are all of the products. And remember, this is a test store, so I don't have everything set up right um, to show you here. But you'll have all of your products here, and you'll see again how many clicks, impressions, cost, um, cost per click, um, and what's going on there. So you'll be able to see, and that's that's going to give you a clue as to what products you might want to turn on or off for advertising. Like it might not make sense to advertise a product that's selling for five dollars if it's costing you ten dollars to advertise it and sell it so you'd go through and have a look at that and optimize that as well so that's what I want to show you in setting up your campaign it's time for you to now go and set up your campaign at least a test campaign at least go in and click around and try and experiment if you haven't done it before it's okay if you can't get everything all figured out in the first go but this is about massive imperfect action taking that action at least getting familiar with the screens of where to click of, of creating the campaign of setting it up but at least getting to go you know what if it doesn't work you can always go in and delete it and we can start again so it's not a big deal if we make a mistake it's all about getting it going and, and taking that massive imperfect action so it's time for you to do it tag it share it post it inside our facebook group let us know if you get stuck let us know if you've got questions most importantly show us what you've done what action have you actually taken share that in the group and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video let's go